so now let's try to program the radio and put some BH frequency on buffing BF888 but first we need to get the software first is chirp which you can download from chirp website another one is the default programming software for BF888 S which you can download from buffing website we also need the image file from Victor Ek1 Kilo Lima Romeo which you can download from the internet from his website Victor Ek1 Kilo Lima Romeo you can also message him on Facebook or message him on his email so we just need this file it's now on my desktop it's bf888 2017 0510 image file uh, we need this so that we can modify the bhf frequency because by default uh, chirp will not allow you to modify the uh, frequency on the ch assigned channel uh, same with the default programming software if we try to use that directly it will not uh, write the BHF channel so what we need to do is download the image file uh, load it on chirp then go to BF888 default programming software modify the frequency from there then save the file open it again in chirp and load it on the radio so that's what we are going to do so first let's check the operating frequency the default operating frequency of bong bf88 so let's read from the radio turn on the radio the radio is now connected to the programming cable so what you will be seeing is only screenshots directly from my desktop so that's buffing BF888 on COM4 so we are now cloning from the radio so the frequency are all UHF on high band so we need to close this and check if the frequencies are the same using the readout from the default programming software so let's open that and read from the software so that's it uh, we have the same readout so when we try to modify this what will happen is it's not actually allowing us to write the BHF frequency so let's close this and try it on chirp once again so download from radio let's try to write some BHF frequency so enter is giving us error setting memory frequency 145 is out of supported range so let's try and on another channel let's press enter so that's what will happen so it will give us an out of supported range memory error so what we need to do is load the image file let's open that from the desktop 
Bofeng BF888 this is the image file from uh, BE1KLR so let's load this on Bofeng as you can see the frequency is different we have BHF channel on 129 and UHF uh, 128 and UHF channel on 9 to 15 so let's load this on the radio now let's read the radio again so we are on cloning mode so as you can see we have written the BHF frequency now when we try to modify the BHF frequency so that we want to assign just in case we want to assign some frequency of our own let's try that on chirp so still uh, it won't allow us to write those frequencies so what we need to do is modify this file from the default software for Bofeng BF888 so let's open that let's read out from the radio oops read data fails so turn off the radio if it happens close the program open it again turn on the radio and read from the radio again so now we are able to successfully read from the radio so let's put our desired frequency so let's try to put 145 megahertz on channel 1 channel 2 is 146.415 so channel 6 is uh, channel 3 is 145.46 Zero, zero. the calling frequency of Iskan International so now let's save the file but <coughs> what will happen here is the assigned frequency from channel 1 will be moved to channel 4 and so on so channel 1 will be overwritten with uh, an FM frequency channel 2 will be blank and channel 3 will be scan mode something like that so the notes from our website is not anymore Uh, this part the channel 1 to 8 will work on BHF and 17 to 15 will work in UHF frequency and channel 16 will be scan mode this is only true maybe on the first time he modified the file using a different version of chirp so but now when we try to uh, add our own modified frequency uh, what will happen is the 
the frequency assigned from channel 1 will be shifted to 4, uh, 5, and 6. Channel 1 will be FM. Channel 2 is uh, blank or something. I'm not sure what will be the assigned frequency, but let's re try to read it later. So let's try to save it with BF888 mod on. So save that file and load it from chirp. So let's open chirp and load the file it's on my documents folder buffing bf888 modify own so chirp will be unable to detect the model of the file so let's load it <coughs> using manual selection it's buffing bf888 and just click on OK. As you can see, channel 1 is assigned as FM with zero frequency. But the readout from the programming software of Bofeng will be different. So let's try to upload these uh, frequencies on the radio. So let's now upload the radio. Now we are success on uploading the uh, file. So let's check out uh, the first we check that out on the default programming software. So uh, Let's read from the radio. <coughs> so as you can see from the readout here, the assigned frequency is FM. Channel 2 is uh, 00, 00. Channel 3 is blank. Our assigned frequency that was previously assigned on channel 1 shifted to channel 4, 5, and 6. So let's check that on chirp. Click on download from radio. <coughs> Cloning mode. As we can see here, channel 1 is 0. Channel 2 and 3 are missing. And the assigned frequency we previously put on channel 1 to 3 are shifted uh, from 4 to 6. So we are now ready to test the radio if it can transmit and receive. <coughs> 